right, this is a you in the eyes of your partner reading for Capricorn. Um, this is going to be a short reading. It's only four cards long. It's to the point um, to some degree. So, you know, um, the first card is going to be his, her, or their um, general impression of you. We have the lovers in reverse. Um, the lovers in reverse is inability to the outcome of trials, madness, frustration, hate, and jealousy. Someone else butting into a relationship and destroying it. Untrustworthiness and divorce. So this could be somebody that you're divorcing. Um, which, to be honest with you, isn't a bad thing. It's just the whole generalization of being single again could be a bit of a problem. And also parting with some of your things that you worked hard to get might be a bit of a problem but divorce you know it's life's too short to stay with somebody who's going to make you miserable so if you're going through a divorce that could be um a good thing for some people you know but for other people it might be a little bit hard okay so number two we have what annoys them about you we have the page of wands the Page of Wands is cruel, malicious stories, a plunder, inability to make decisions, a heavenger of bad news. So with you, there's probably some stories out there that people have about you that are not as um, benign as you would like them to be. I feel like you might be a little bit lustrous in your conquests and there might be a bit of an issue there. Or you might be a gambler, you might drink, you might get a little out of whack um, where you're doing things that uh, might be a little bit questionable. So, you know, you might be cheating on people, you might be doing the, the wrong thing. You might have kids, and that's why the issue stands. Um, so, you know, that, that's something to think about if you have children. Because children do assimilate certain things that they grew up with as normal which isn't healthy for them at all so you have to be mindful about what you're doing just fyi you know um so number three what he or she likes about you most um you have the fool in reverse the fool in reverse um no decision at all faltering in a quest not caring if a decision is reached so with you, you kind of give up uh, on whatever it is because you don't see the value in it anymore. So you just might just be going through the motions at the moment and just making sure that you get what you need and get out. But um, I just feel like you don't want to fight anymore. You just, the, the negativity needs to stop. And I feel like that's where you're at. I feel like a lot of Capricorns do that where they don't want to deal with it like they're they're done like they were done from the first day they don't need to talk about it anymore so I feel like that's where you're at as far as the fool is concerned and then we have number four which is advice advice can come from anywhere but uh, in this case it could come from me spirit whoever you believe in um, so we have the ace of cups in reverse the ace of cups is a revolution of feelings a false heart, joy tempered with the tragedy or inconsistency. So there's a, um, there was like a hidden motive. Um, your partner believes that you were doing to get out of a relationship. Um, but I, I, I don't really see it like with all these cards. I just feel like you felt blocked and uninspired in the relationship that you were in. And you were just like, let's end it. Like, that's that, that's basically it. Um, with most Capricorns, like I've said eons ago, Capricorns are self-starters. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want. <laughs> when they're tied down in a relationship, it could be a bit, a bit harder um, for them to do these things. They have to understand that it might be time to settle down. And if they're not ready to make that commitment, they won't settle down. So, you know, if, if you're in a relationship that's not like 
allows you to be free to make your own decisions at the same time allows you to be your own person you're not going to be in that relationship for too much longer um so that's kind of what i feel like this is um you might actually have like a lustful side to you where you get into relationships really fast just to get out of them very quickly um so <laughs> just remember your equal is going to be somebody that is confrontational <laughs> with, a, with a lot of Capricorns that does happen but um, y you have to have somebody who's either can stand on their own two feet without you or somebody who's confrontational enough to tell you that you're out of sorts but um, usually it's it's people that stand by themselves like they don't need a man they don't need a woman you like the independent types because you yourself are an independent type of person. So you want to do your own thing. You want to run your own business. You want to rule the world and dominate. This person that you're going to be with has to kind of be the same type of thing or type of way. So, you know, I used to actually have a best friend that was like that. She wanted to do all these things. And I was... I was kind of like a trailblazer myself when I was younger, but, um, yeah, we used to sell candy bars at elementary school before fundraising became a thing in our grade, but, um, yeah, we, we made some money, um, <laughs> we weren't the richest kids, but we weren't the poorest kids either, but, yeah, she, she took one side of the school, sold candy bars, I sold candy bars to the other kids, um, so, it was basically, who do you want to, buy candy bars from basically but we split the money 50 50 so it is what it is anyway so capricorn i hopefully this helped you out and you figure out what you want out of a relationship usually a relationship works out where you're both like parents to each other one person takes care of one person when they need it and vice versa but you act like the parental figure that's ideal in your situation or your your emotional need, you know. Your person's not going to know what you need all the time until they get to know you really well. So you have to understand that your partner is going to be not only your partner, but a parental figure as well to encourage you to grow and be vibrant. And if that person doesn't do that for you, then they're not the right one. All right. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Take care of yourself. Take care of everyone. And I will see you in the next reading. All right. Later.